Here are your top headlines. If you have kids that go to the school district in Emmett, listen up. There will be no school tomorrow, but the closure is not a result of the weather. Officials with the Emmett School District say they decided to cancel classes tomorrow because of the huge amount of flu cases in the school district. Just when it seemed folks were turning the tide on smoking, vaping has brought the issue back to the forefront. The My Life, My Quit initiative aims to educate people, and especially young people, on the real health dangers posed by vaping and empower them to make a change. This program has the potential to change someone's life. What have they got to lose? They've got everything to gain from this program. Advocates say more than 2,500 Americans are hospitalized each year with vaping-related lung injuries, and that includes right here in Idaho. If you want more information on how to quit, as well as other resources and support, just head to mylifemyquit.com to get started. Santa Claus is in town finding out what all kids want for Christmas. Signing Santa has been visiting kids in the Treasure Valley for over 25 years. Every year gets a little bigger. The event brings together a community and gives kids a chance to practice social interactions with peers their own age. And don't forget to join us right here on Six on Your Side this Saturday for a full day of bowl games, including the Broncos 2019 Mitsubishi Motors Vegas Bowl. Uh, they face off against the Washington Huskies and former Boise State head coach Chris Peterson in what could be Coach Pete's last game as a head coach. Kickoff, 5.30 hour time. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. After a dusting of snow in Ada County and upwards to one to three inches of snow in the Western Valley, our temperatures warmed this afternoon, getting above freezing with melting on the roadways, but some snow hanging around in the Western Valley, but that will tend to want to melt again tomorrow as we start to warm things up over the next couple of days. 41 in Boise at five o'clock. Latest stop the radar, at least as of mid evening, shows a, you know, a burst of some heavy showers pushing through Canyon County, and that, will, that line will continue to slide right through the Boise area, and it's pushing some appreciable snow in the higher elevation, so highway 95 and Highway 55 are getting covered with snow and there'll be some slick driving overnight, although the snow will let up and road conditions could improve. Those dropping temperatures overnight will keep some areas of ice over there in the mountains. But what's happening is there's drier weather working in from Central Oregon and this is going to slide on in and as it does, it will dry us out over the next couple of days and it will warm us up dramatically. 48 tomorrow and Saturday and we could top 50 degrees, maybe even as high as 54 on Sunday if it comes in that way. I think we'll have some wind, no snow to rain here. We'll just have showers tonight, but we'll just be dry tomorrow. Then breezy conditions Friday and Saturday, maybe lighter when Sunday could be an amazing day. Then a cold front comes through and the temperatures drop back down. And as we get towards a Tuesday, the 24th,